Welcome back to the MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. Lesson 1.2 discusses understanding requirements for a project. First, we see what are the requirements for a project, then how are the requirements collected, and lastly, what are the key features of a properly and effectively defined requirement. So, we begin with Lesson 1.2, Understanding Requirements. The requirements of a project define and document all the needs and objectives of the stakeholders. According to the Project Management Body of Knowledge, a stakeholder is a person or organization that is actively involved in the project or has positive or negative interests that are affected by the completion of the project or can exert influence over the people or deliverables of the project. Requirements of a project can be related to either the project requirements like business requirements, project management requirements, delivery requirements or product requirements like technical requirements, performance requirements, quality requirements, cost requirements or security requirements. How to collect requirements? The most common and effectively used tools for requirement collection are interviews, a formal or informal one-to-one -one talk with stakeholders to identify their needs and concerns. Focus group, it is an interactive discussion with stakeholders and subject matter experts and is generally overseen by a moderator. Facilitated workshops. These are well-planned interactive sessions where stakeholders from different sectors of the project get to interact and resolve conflicts in their ideology. Example, Joint Application Development JAD, Quality Function Deployment QFD, etc. These help in sorting and prioritizing needs and goals. Group creativity techniques like brainstorming. All ideas for a particular project or process are collected initially without critically analyzing at the first stage. Mind mapping. Consolidation of ideas which are generated in brainstorming to a single map leading to prioritization and further generation of ideas. Delphi technique. Here a group of experts answer specific questionnaires after each round of requirement collection. Group decision making techniques for assessment and prioritization if there are multiple alternatives like unanimity, everyone agrees to one path or majority, more than 50% people agree to moving in one path. Plurality, there is no clear majority that is there is no clear agreement by 50% of the people. So, the decision of the largest block of people is agreed upon. This is called plurality. Dictatorship, where one person decides for the entire group. Other techniques include questionnaires and surveys. Observations, to see how processes are carried out or how people work and prototypes making a working model before making the original so that feedback and evaluation can be received on a sample before making the full version
a well defined requirement should be unambiguous that is it should be very clear should be measurable it should be testable it should be traceable in terms of its origin to the objective it should be complete it should be consistent and should most importantly be acceptable to all the key stakeholders to summarize we have seen what are the requirements of a project how to collect the requirements and what are the key features for a well defined and effective project this presentation material is available on group.net thank you for joining with us for this tutorial in the next part of the video tutorial series on group.net we will discuss about archiving information